only at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Home of serious steaks. There's nothing quite like a good steak, and Ruth's Chris has been serving up choice cuts across the country for almost 100 years. However, the brand is set to usher in some big changes in 2024. We're talking new hours, new menus, and new tech, along with some disappointing cuts. And we don't mean the steaks. You know what? I am going to have that third steak after all. Go for more in 2024. Why do you always want more? Obviously, when it comes to restaurants or any business, for that matter, location is key and wide distribution is even better for your bottom line. After all, you can't grow said business without a large, solid customer base. In the restaurant world, there's no better example of the benefits of massive expansion than the biggest fast food franchise of them all, McDonald's. A McDLT? No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. The chain has managed to spread to every part of North America and every corner of the globe. With expansion to that degree, it's no surprise that McDonald's has become one of the biggest brands in history. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse may not be at the level of McDonald's, but this has not stopped the brand from planning on a major expansion in 2024. The Steakhouse has had the unfortunate duty of shutting down its New York location, which was a prominent fixture in the heart of Manhattan. But Ruth's Chris is now aiming for much more. The brand's plans for expansion include locations opening up both nationally and possibly even internationally. Along with the brand's current locations in the U.S. and Canada, Ruth's Chris is looking to open up another restaurant in Minnesota and a location in downtown Rochester, just to name a few. Now, that's all well and good for North America, but Ruth's Chris is planning to open locations overseas, with Asia being a big target in the coming years. The brand's new aggressive growth plan has the franchise opening at least seven new restaurants annually over the next couple of years. This is, of course, in addition to the 150-plus company-owned and 74 independently-owned locations currently operating. While the past few years have made it a struggle for Ruth's Chris, as well as other restaurants, to stay financially viable, the brand is hoping that its expansion plan will get things back on track. Fingers crossed. No more lunch service. Listen, we're thinking about ordering a little bit of lunch. So we've all heard the classic phrase, Breakfast is a big boy's most important meal of the day. Well, a nice lunch is also an important part of keeping that energy level up for the rest of the day. After all, that waffle or egg and cheese bagel you had at 7.30 in the morning isn't going to keep you moving for the entire day. With that said, most restaurants have offered lunch service since restaurants first opened their doors. The afternoon meal or lunch rush is usually just as profitable for restaurants and fast food chains as the dinner rush, as hungry diners flock to the closest joint for lunch. This was the case for Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. The brand's lunch service was iconic for its loyal customers. The service offered discount prices on many of its classic menu items. Unfortunately, Ruth's Chris will be putting an end to their lunch service in 2024. Yes, the iconic lunchtime specials will be coming to an end, for the most part, due in part to many people choosing to work remotely from home, and thus not eating their afternoon meal at the restaurant. This may also mean that some items normally served during lunch will vanish from the menu entirely. However, for certain locations, the lunch service will continue to be available from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. before closing the doors and reopening from 4.30 to 8 for dinner. So if you happen to live in a city where the rare Ruth's Chris lunch menu is still being served, consider yourself lucky. Lunch is uh, served. Better steak fillets. Look at the size of Gary's giant fillet. What's the best part of going out to eat at a steakhouse? Don't worry, this isn't a trick question. It's the steak. Obviously. Granted, like any other restaurant, there's a wide variety of choices on a steakhouse menu. But let's face it, at a steakhouse, beef is king. Steak continues to be one of the most popular restaurant go-tos. Whether at a specialty steakhouse or at your local fast casual joint, steak is always a certified hit. However, while steak may be a hit, not all steak is created equal. This is also the case when talking about steakhouses. Considering that when you choose to eat at a steakhouse, you're going to be in for a relatively expensive night out, that steak better be worth your hard-earned money. Luckily, Ruth's Chris has been perfecting their steak craft for quite some time now, and the brand is preparing to make their fillets even better than before. And that's saying a lot. Ruth's Chris fillets are one of the most popular items on the menu at all locations. The brand has always used USDA Prime Cuts for all their fillets, so it's a bit of a mystery as to how the brand plans to improve upon the current quality fillets. It also seems like the top brass over at Ruth's Chris HQ are keeping that 
that secret under wraps. However, the chain intends to invest a lot of money on those juicy fillets that customers have grown to love. Yeah, I'm gonna be rich. No more delivery. Special delivery! It's safe to say that the invention of food delivery revolutionized the food industry. Look no further than pizza. Delivery has easily become a pizzeria's best friend, to the point where you likely can't imagine a world before pizza delivery. With the rise of delivery services like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub, hungry customers can pretty much have anything delivered to their doorstep, all while getting to stay in those comfy PJs. Delivery has been a major boom for the fast food industry, as the ability to get food to those unattainable customers is now a reality. However, food delivery isn't exclusive to fast food. In fact, many restaurants, both fast, casual, and otherwise, have benefited from delivery, and Ruth's Chris is no different. However, as of 2024, the chain will no longer offer delivery. Now, it should be stated that Ruth's Chris only adopted the pickup and delivery option to stay financially viable during the health measures of 2020. However, if customers thought that this would be a service the chain would continue to use, they're sadly mistaken. One of the major factors for Ruth's Chris ending delivery is due to delivery companies causing menu prices to increase. Since the delivery services add fees to an order to make money, the chain knows that all the customer sees is higher prices, and Ruth's Chris wants none of that. No! I refuse. No! The cost of steak is high enough without any added delivery fees. Making your pockets a little less empty seems to be the sentiment Ruth's Chris has adopted. Saving money. New menus for select locations. We gotta get a new dinner menu, we can hire more cooks, we get more help around you. A great restaurant has to have a great menu. After all, the food is the reason diners are willing to shell out some pretty hefty prices in some cases. Restaurants with a lackluster menu tend to end up either doing poorly or just flat out closing down. Down. It's no secret that the most iconic menus, either in fast food or otherwise, belong to the most successful restaurants, and that's no accident. With that said, Ruth's Chris has always had a fantastic menu filled with mouth-watering items, and its customers seem to be pretty satisfied. However, there's nothing wrong with adding a few new items every now and then, because for most people, more is always a good thing. Ruth's Chris believes this as well, and intends to introduce new menu items to the menu of select locations. Several locations in North Carolina, for example, will have a lot more non-beef entrees, appetizers, and sides to choose from. Diners in these locations can expect to sink their teeth into Berkshire pork chops and a rotating daily seafood special. Would you like some pork? These lucky locations will all have the familiar Ruth's Chris goodness and then some. Whether the brand plans on making these additions to all of their locations in the future has yet to be revealed, but to the loyal Ruth's Chris clientele, keep those fingers crossed. Pretty please. A plan to bring back big spending customers. Welcome! Fine dining's not for everyone. Let's face it, average working folks who want to enjoy a night out are usually going to either their local fast food joint or a nice, inviting, fast casual restaurant. It makes sense since fast food or a meal at a fast casual chain isn't necessarily going to break the bank. However, when it comes to a restaurant's bottom line, the big spenders are always in the crosshairs. This is especially true for fine dining restaurants. For the most part, the restaurants that specialize in fine dining are the places where folks with deep pockets tend to enjoy a night out. Those folks with a lot of disposable income can potentially spend a considerable amount more than the average customer and have no problem ordering something with a hefty price tag. I got money to spend in here. Unfortunately, many of those high earners don't throw that money around so easily, especially during recent times. Ruth's Chris is feeling the sting of the loss of the high earners customer. The fact is, diners that make over $125,000 a year are spending less when they eat at Ruth's Chris. Regardless, Ruth's Chris wants those potentially lost dollars. That's why the brand is planning to incentivize those affluent customers in a way that relates to just about anyone, excessive amounts of money or not, value. The steakhouse plans to focus on delivering value, which doesn't necessarily mean low prices. However, the CEO admits that this can potentially be a double-edged sword because the company realizes that by not catering to the rich, it may mean their traffic is at a low end, but that the brand will not lower prices for the wealthy. As previously stated, due to circumstances of the past few years, the wealthy stopped spending their money on fine dining and instead started traveling. Ruth's Chris is hoping its plan will be just enough to bring those big bucks back to the steakhouse. I'll come back with more homers. Before we get to more Ruth's Chris changes, if it's your first time here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe 
subscribe button. Thank you. Fancy tech. Cutting edge technology. Technology can be a restaurant's best friend. The fast food industry owes its existence to ever improving technology. For example, McDonald's condiment delivery system was almost space age when it first debuted, and Burger King's flame broiler instantly made the joint the home of the flame kissed burger. Of course, where would fast food be without the drive through window and delivery service? 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 peppers, and 155 taters. However, the restaurant innovations are not limited to fast food. Food. Many restaurants have upgraded their kitchens with the latest in cooking tech, and Ruth's Chris is no different. The steakhouse has kitchen tech that has revolutionized the cooking of its steaks, the infrared broiler. The infrared method radiates heat much more evenly over the broiling surface of the food, which means your steak is perfectly seared and consistently colored all over. This new tech is ensuring that the Ruth's Chris steak is a cut above the rest, and a steak experience its customers will remember long after the steak is gone. June 2004, Porterhouse, Medium Rare, Bernays Sauce. Tastemakers Dinners. You're telling me that wine is better than Pepsi? Food and wine are often the perfect pair. Depending on the meal, both complement one another and enhance the overall dining experience. You don't have to be a wine connoisseur or a food snob to enjoy the pairing, and that's what makes this dynamic duo even better. Fine dining has a long, storied history with wine. Most high-end restaurants have a healthy wine list to further your dining experience and Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is no exception. Furthermore, the brand has taken the food and wine pairing to the next level by offering customers tastemaker dinners. That's fancy. <laughs> That's fancy. These dinners are meant to further your experience and make you think differently about food and wine. The experience offers six different dinners held on select nights. Each tastemaker dinner is a chef-curated recipe paired with wine and spirits from today's top tastemakers. Perhaps a medium filet with a fancy red cabernet? Give me a cabernet, huh? Less is more. I'm keeping it simple. The phrase, less is more, may be a cliché, but it's nonetheless true in many cases. One example would be a restaurant with a bloated, gimmicky menu. Many restaurants out there feel the need to present their customers with a sprawling list of complicated menu items. Oh, no, 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 it's more like a cochon de contre contre vanche sauce. While this may impress a certain minority, most customers just want quality over quantity and not to have their mind blown by a hundred different food choices. This is likely the reason Ruth's Chris has decided to keep a relatively trim menu. As mentioned previously, the steakhouse is prepared to offer its customers a better filet while also adding a few new items to its menu at select locations. However, the focus will continue to be on the steak and not multiple filler menu items. The rise of a quality menu with fewer items done to perfection is a practice that most customers should be pleased with. Just keep it simple. Keeping it simple, that's what yeah. I'm doing. Scaling back its hours. Only 30 more minutes to go, man. We better not have no late night hours. Coming in here. All restaurants want as much business as they can get their hands on. That's a no-brainer. However, this doesn't always mean that a restaurant needs to keep its doors open 24-7. With most fast food chains, they tend to stay open late to accommodate the late-night diners and night shift workers looking for a midnight bite, usually opting to keep the drive through operating all night. Much of the same happens with fast casual chains typically staying open up to or after midnight, especially the chains that broadcast sports and other events events on TV. However, many restaurants simply have lunch and dinner hours, and that's it. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse has been operating with a lunch and dinner hour schedule for years, but things are changing in 2024. This includes the previously mentioned lunch service, which will no longer be an option. So much for those big, expensive business lunches for all those hungry executives. In addition to the lunch hours ending, the chain will no longer be opening before dusk, which means if you want to eat at a Ruth's Chris, you're going to have to wait until the sun goes down. Dinner date. Dinner date. That's what mine says as well. Ruth's Chris CEO stated that the reason behind the reduction in hours was that it wasn't economically feasible or beneficial to offer meals at a lower price point during the day. Translation, those cheap daylight hour meals are killing <laughs> Ruth's Chris bottom line. Enough is enough! Ruth's Chris is now part of the Olive Garden and Longhorn family. Welcome to the club! Major business conglomerates are nothing new. How often have we seen these multi-million dollar mergers between businesses take place. Too many to count. In fact, just recently, the WWE and the UFC were both brought together through their parent company, Endeavor, to form the sports entertainment powerhouse TKO. Over in the food world, fast food giant, the Canadian-American juggernaut Restaurant Brands International
International has His Royal Highness Burger King coffee and donut giant Tim Hortons and the southern chicken chain Popeyes all under the same umbrella. These multi-million dollar mergers not only mean that the parent company will be generating a ridiculous amount of money, but the company will also be able to ensure a uniform quality control and standards, just to name a few of the benefits. Ruth's Chris has entered the world of the food corporation conglomerate. The brand has been brought into the Darden Restaurants Inc. family. The acquisition, which took place in 2023, was worth $715 million, and we'll see Ruth's join Darden's growing restaurant empire. The list of franchises currently under the Darden banner are familiar chains like Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, and the Capital Burger, to name a few. This acquisition will help Darden to expand its fine dining footprint, further expanding the company's clientele. Great success. What does this merger mean for customers? Well, apart from these beloved franchises belonging to the same family, not much. More money? New restaurant design. We need a complete overhaul. There's nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned overhaul. After all, a new coat of paint can sometimes make all the difference. Many businesses choose to update their decor as the years go by. After all, there's no forgiveness for a 70s or 80s motif when your business is a modern one, unless that's the theme you're going for, of course. Restaurants also have to follow the practice of updating their designs to keep up with the times. Fast food chains like McDonald's have gone from their original branding to a look and theme targeting kids to a more bistro modern look we see today. Burger King has set its sights on 2024 to overhaul pretty much everything about their business, including the design of their stores. This is also the plan for Ruth's Chris and various locations. The chain plans to redesign its restaurants, and the brand has started with its Winter Park location in Florida. The Winter Park location, which was relocated from Times Square, includes a brand new bar design and a much larger outdoor dining area that gives its guests different dining experience options. Since the relocation and redesign, the Winter Park location has increased its business by more than 30% from its previous location in New York. Very effective. In addition to the revamped menu, Ruth's Chris is introducing a new bar program, so it's fair to say that the brand has a lot on its redesigned bucket list. There's more! Going digital. Digital? Back in the day, the world was much simpler. Money was thin pieces of paper and was actually handed to a cashier. All cars ran on gasoline, and folks were entertained by the giant plastic and glass box that was TV. You should know things are different now. Most of us pay for things using our phones, and while most cars still run on gas, many cars on the road today are either electric or hybrid. And most of us tend to keep ourselves entertained by watching our phones or a laptop rather than the TV. Yes, we live in the digital age, which seems to grow by leaps and bounds every year. Businesses of all kinds have been making the transition to digital for years, so it makes sense that some of the most profitable restaurants would waltz on in to the digital age. Fast food joints like McDonald's have slowly been building digital kiosks in their stores, streamlining the ordering process. Other chains have ordering apps that you can download and use not only to order, but also take advantage of online exclusive deals. Over in the world of the steakhouse, Ruth's Chris has its toe in the digital water. Recently, the brand has overhauled its lackluster website. In the past, booking a reservation on the Ruth's Chris website from a smartphone or tablet was difficult because the website wasn't optimized for phones and tablets. However, with the brand's new digital platform, the ordering process is now smooth and easy. That was easy. Vegan options. And I'm a vegan, of course slowly working towards full freaking vegan. A delicious steak cooked to medium rare and dripping with juicy goodness is just about the most iconic sight in all the food world. The smell and taste of a good steak are just plain hard to beat. This is what everyone expects when entering a steakhouse, and Ruth's Chris is above all a steakhouse. However, there is more to life than a juicy steak, even in a steakhouse, as strange as that sentence may sound. When it comes to any restaurant menu, diversity is a key ingredient to success. After all, customers will come in hungry and ready to eat, but may be in the mood for something other than a sick and juicy porterhouse. Ruth's Chris is planning to entice the vegans and vegetarians out there to visit their steakhouse with their wide array of salads and other vegetarian dishes. Would you like to have lunch? Are you a vegetarian? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse Salad, featuring garlic croutons, grape tomatoes, and baby lettuce, is just one of the gourmet salads the brand has to offer those who tend to avoid eating steak or meat of any kind. Other vegan 
options include Ruth's Chopped Salad, which is served without eggs and bacon bits, obviously. When it comes to vegan and vegetarian entrees, the brand has veggie lovers covered with its non-meat dinner menu. Dishes like Ruth's Vegetarian Trio, which is roasted tomatoes topped with blue cheese, spinach stuffed mushrooms, and pasta with asparagus tossed with white cheddar sauce are enough to please any vegan or vegetarian plant-based palate. The list of vegan slash vegetarian options is respectable, considering that Ruth's Chris is all about the steak. Meat lovers and veggie lovers, feel free to rejoice. You secretly love artichokes and plums? Keep your voice down, woman! New training for servers. I had training. Special training. To open and operate a successful business, there are several actions that have to be put in place. The importance of location and market research are all keys to success for any business. Of course, your product, whatever it happens to be, has to be something that customers want, which is a no-brainer. However, a business is only as good as its employees. Employees are the backbone of any business. The good ones elevate and make the customers want to keep coming back. The bad ones, well, are mostly a reflection of their training. Good employees employees are not born. They have to be created, and often businesses employ poor training programs, which results in a bad employee. In the restaurant world, the first line of defense is the hosts and wait staff. And for these employees to be at their best, they need top-tier hospitality training. Sadly, this isn't always the case with restaurants nowadays. It isn't a guarantee that the staff hired at your local restaurant will be properly trained. Fortunately, Ruth's Chris initiated a hospitality training and standard program in 2023 with the program spanning over an 18-month period. Employees are the foundation of a great restaurant. Happy, well-trained employees make for an efficient, money-making restaurant. Money! I'm listening. Ruth's Chris customers can order their meal and know that the staff will be properly trained to cater to their needs. Money well spent. We're serving up great videos 24-7, so just tap or click on one of these other ones to keep watching. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.